Hi, now I am going to show you how to upgrade your SIM 900 firmware. If you are getting any errors uh, when using a specific commands for a specific feature of SIM 900 like HTTP or email commands, uh, it, might be, uh, it might be possible that uh, your firmware is not compatible or it doesn't have the necessary functions to implement that functionality. So uh, first we will try to check what the uh, what present firmware version is. Open your terminal software. And connect to the SIM 900 module. And check the firmware version. 80, so you can use this command 80 plus C. 80 plus CGMR. So this will return the product software version. 80 plus CGMR. So this is the software version which is present in my SIM 900 module now. B11 SIM 964ST. So now what we will do is we'll just close this and open this firmware loader. So this is a software given by SIM 900 SIMCOM uh, which uh, which you can use to upgrade the firmware of SIM 900. So just open this software and browse to your uh, make sure that you are using the right serial port where your SIM 900 is connected. I have this uh, you know multiple firmware versions with me so that uh, there will be different firmware version for a different functionality. For if you want to use DTMF commands, it might not be present in your pr present firmware version. So uh, what you need to do is you need to change it to a different firmware. So the first, this is B05SIM964ST. Uh, this one has all the features including HTTP, email uh, and uh, FTP. So the other one, uh, if you use DTMF, it will not be having an HTTP. It's like that. So first, uh, let me try to uplo upload the firmware version of B05. Open the software. Browse to the .cla file. So B05. And uh, this is the .cla file. Just open this file in the software. And uh, make sure that you have set the appropriate you know, serial port, select serial port and the uh, baud rate. So I have kept uh, kept it at one one five two double zero because that's what my USB to UART converter is supporting to the Mac. So you can just press start. So now uh, it wants you to uh, restart the board so that the bootloader can come up. So just remove the power to your board and connect it back. It will automatically take it as an uh, you know it will automatically run the bootloader. So now it is erasing the flash memory. Uh, it erasing it will uh, take some time. Uh, it it's, it might be having a very large memory inside, and even after erasing, the programming also takes some time. So let's wait until the erasing is done and the programming is done, so that we can later check which firmware version is upgraded and everything all that. We can verify it later. should not select a baud rate which is more than your uh, more than what your uh, serial converter or the USB to serial converter is can support so my my serial port converter which is uh, uh, the CP2102 uh, is uh, I it, it can only support until 115200 so that's what I'm using here so it has erased the flash and it is loading the flash memory now so it is writing sector by sector uh, with a frame size of 2 kilobytes
also when you are uploading the firmware make sure that you have uh, you know set your module into auto board mode you can do that using the command at plus ipr is equal to zero Okay, now the firmware upload is done. So it's showing as download done. Now let's just close this software and uh, open the terminal and check what is the firmware version. It's just restarting now. I will just turn the echo mode off so that it doesn't print everything in double. A T plus C C M R. As you can see, the firmware version is now B05 SIM 964 ST It supports all the HT, uh, uh, HTTP commands A T plus H T T P in it, and all the you know F T P commands and the email commands. If you uh, and also if you need uh, all these softwares, uh, all these uh, uh, firmwares and the for my loading software you can just drop me a mail and i will send it to you thank you